guys welcome back to my channel so i am here with a grocery haul and meal plan this is a little bit different than i normally do grocery hauls and meal plans it's a lot bigger and i got a lot more stuff than i normally get and this is actually a meal plan for two weeks which i'll explain to you when we get into the actual meal plan but today i went to three different stores i went to publix kroger and i went to trader joe's for the first time so i'm going to go through the two other stores publix and kroger really really quick and then we'll get to the trader joe's haul and i'm actually going to include the prices because before i went to trader joe's i was always curious on the pricing of things and so i figured it'd be helpful if i showed you the items i got as well as the price that they are in the store so this what you see here was all bought at publix I don't normally do a lot of grocery shopping at Publix unless it's like couponing for groceries. Um, they sometimes have good deals there, but this time I went in for two specific things and I was really, really excited because there's, there are things that I was going to buy anyways, so I was happy to get them, buy one, get one free. So the first thing's kind of boring. I did get some tomatoes and a cucumber. I totally forgot to get them at um, Kroger this week, so I went ahead and picked them up while I was there. This is one of the main reasons I went in. This Nusa yogurt, guys, if you have been following my grocery hauls for the last month, I have been, I've got these almost every single time, and I absolutely love this lemon one and this coconut one. These are normally $2 at my grocery store at Kroger or Walmart or wherever I end up going, but at Publix this week, they were buy one, get one free. So they were $2 and then buy one, get one free, so it came out to a dollar a piece which is a super great deal for this. And I was super excited. So I went ahead and got four of the lemon because that's my absolute favorite and two of the coconut. This was an Ibotta deal that I did. These were on sale for a dollar this week at Publix. And there is a 75 cent rebate on Ibotta that you can do two times per receipt. So I just picked up two of these and they're gonna end up costing me 25 cents. After I submit for that Ibotta rebate, this is another reason that I went in there. These cookies are my absolute favorite. I love them so much, and they are regularly, like you can see right there, $3.69, and I think the lowest I've ever seen them is about $2.50 at some store. Sometimes I'll go two for five or something, and these are great, great cookies, and I love to gift them to people, like put them in a basket that I'm making or something like that, so I went ahead and picked up four of these. Like I said, they were $3.69, buy one, get one free, so that comes out to, I don't know, one maybe 175 a piece something like that a little bit more than that um which is a great deal for these cookies so i got two of the lemon and chocolate one of the double dark chocolate and one of the double milk chocolate so i was super excited about that and then i did not go in there for this but these were on sale this week at Publix. Buy one, get one free as well. These are the Freshetta Kitchen Fresh Pizzas, the brick oven crust. This is the spinach and roasted mushrooms. And these were on sale for, like I said, buy one, get one free. And they were $5, which made them only $2.50 per pizza, which is a great, great deal. Um, and this looks really, really good. So I picked up two of those as well. So that is everything I got from Publix. And I will have the totals down in the description box below. But for right now, let's get on to Kroger. Okay, this is everything I got from Kroger, and then we will get into Trader Joe's. So the first two things I got were actually the Free Friday downloads for the last two weeks. If you have a Kroger around you and did not know, every single Friday they put out a coupon that is just for a free item. It can be anything from food items. I've seen even like way other stuff. There's just a large variety of things you can get for free. And you just download the coupon to your Kroger card from the app on Friday. And then you can you have like two weeks to use it, I believe. So I was a little bit behind, so I went ahead and got both of them this week. So the, the, the one for last week was the Core Hydration Water. This thing is huge. It is 30.4 fluid ounces. So I got that. And then also this was last Friday. So it's the Nor One Scalet Meals. And this is the Lemon Chicken with Barley Meal Starter. It says season with lemon, savory herbs, and garlic. And it says just add chicken, spinach, and carrots. So it looks really, really good. So I went ahead and got that. The next thing I got was, or those were completely free. I think I said that, but these, I just got a thing of sour cream. I got two things of the Taco Bell hot sauce. We absolutely love these. We used to get the um, packets and we would just get a lot whenever we went to Taco Bell, but we decided that this would be better. And this is like $1.25 for a 7.5 ounce bottle of it. So pretty good. I got some of this, um, granola it says oats and honey granola a blend of whole grain rolled oats and wheat and almonds sweetened with brown sugar and honey so 
if you follow Nicole Burgess, she just put out a Foodie Friday, Foodie Friday a couple weeks ago about her yogurt parfaits. And as you will see here, I got a whole bunch of yogurt and fruit. So I got this along with those to make parfaits. These are the yogurts that I got. So I went in there planning on getting um, like the quart, I think it is, of yogurt. But then I saw these. These are only 99 cents and they're four individual packs of the Dannon Light and Fit Original Vanilla Yogurt. And it's only 70 calories per one. So I thought that was pretty good for 99 cents, only 25 cents a piece. And these are already portioned out, so I don't have to worry about getting a cup and all that stuff. So I have this, and I'm gonna use some of that granola and fruit that I'm gonna show you in a second and make parfaits. So I got three of those, so that will last me 12 days. I got two things of the Almond Breeze Almond Milk. These were on sale this week for $1.99 on the Buy 5, Save 5, uh, mega event and there was also a one dollar coupon attached to them so that made them 99 cents a piece and you guys know we make smoothies in the morning so I went ahead and picked up two of those I got two things of Pepsi wild cherry guys I do not like Pepsi I am definitely a coke girl living in the south we just we love our coke down here so but I did pick this up for my friend anchor amber here on youtube she is coming to my house next monday like not tomorrow but the next Monday and she really likes this stuff so I got this for her I got one thing of milk it is $1.69 on clearance so that was a pretty good deal and it will be long gone by June 17th so I went a little goldfish crazy so Amber also I texted her and asked her what she liked just so I could have a little bit of things that she liked in the house when she was here and she said she really likes the flavor blasted extra cheddar goldfish and the pretzel goldfish these were on sale for 99 cents when you bought five of them so I went ahead and bought five at 99 cents a piece and originally you can see here was 249 so that was a pretty good deal for those I got this whole chicken and I have never cooked a whole chicken before but it was actually half of this price so it came out to like $2.75 for this whole chicken so I thought that was pretty good for that. I got a thing of refried beans. Here's my fruit for my parfait. I got the strawberries and the blueberries. This is a pretty big thing of blueberries. I think it's a pint. Yeah, pint. I got 12 eggs. Eggs were really, really expensive. They were two, no, a dollar seventy, no, a dollar ninety-nine for this. Normally I can get an 18 count at Walmart for a dollar. So kind of weird about that. Then I got this big salad mix. It is just the classic garden salad. It is on sale for $1.49 on clearance. And the date is pretty good on it. It is, I looked at it. It is can't find it now. Oh, right here. June 12th. So I'm probably going to have this tonight or tomorrow night. So that will be perfect for us. And that is everything I got from Kroger. Again, I will leave the totals in the description box below. I did pick up two more things, but they are presents for a friend. So I did not want to show them on here because she's probably going to watch this video. So <laughs> I did not want to show these, show those. But now let's get on to the fun stuff at Trader Joe's. Okay guys, this is everything I got at Trader Joe's. Again, this was my first time ever stepping foot into a Trader Joe's. So the first thing I did when I pulled up in the parking lot was call Kira and asked her what to do because I was actually on a really strict time crunch. I had about 20 minutes in there. So I wanted to ask her what I should get so I can kind of, you know, make it out of there and in time. So I definitely want to go back because I loved my experience there. The people there were so super nice. They were really helpful. The lady that checked me out, I told her it was my first time and she like rang a bell and she was doing all this really fun stuff. And she walked me around the store and showed me her favorite items. So definitely, definitely great customer service at Trader Joe's and the prices were super, super regional. So re reasonable. <laughs> so like I said, in the beginning of this video, I am going to go ahead and tell you guys the price. So I have my receipt here and I'm just going to go through everything, tell you the price so you can get an idea of the prices at Trader Joe's. The thing I got back here were these mini chicken tacos. I think I've seen Phillips Fan Bam and, and Vanessa from Lemonade Mom haul these and they looked really really good so we're gonna have a Mexican night I think on Monday and these look super delicious so I got those and these were four dollars and 29 cents and you get one pound and 1.5 ounces I'm trying to see how many you get 24 mini tacos so that's pretty good for four dollars and 29 cents I did get this reduced guilt mac and cheese. I actually got two of them, but I had one of them for lunch today. And these are so, so good. It says 65% less fat and 25% fewer calories than regular mac and cheese. And this is $1.99. And there are the nutrition facts if you're interested. 
and I asked in one of my other videos what I should get at Trader Joe's because I knew I was going there and a lot of you guys suggested this and so I got it and it's really super good so $1.99 at Trader Joe's this I've seen Kira over at 50 Shades of Mom haul before and this is the Gnocchi um, all gorgonzola and she says it's really super good they had a, a bunch of different varieties there but she said this was her favorite and it was only two dollars and 99 cents which i thought was not bad for a one pound package so that was super exciting then i got these trader joe's hash browns and kira said these were good as well they had the shredded hash browns and also the ones that are like in little things like this and these were a dollar 99 which is also a great deal these I was so excited about. I saw someone post these on Instagram and it was the popcorn in a pickle, Trader Joe's brand pickled popcorn. I absolutely love pickles and it says boldly flavored popcorn with the bite and tang of dill pickles. And these were only um, $1.99 as well and this is a five ounce bag. So super excited about that. As you can tell, I've already busted into these cookie butter sandwich cookies. It says creamy cookie butter spread between two decadent butter cookies. You get 10 ounces, and I think you get 18 cookies. Yeah, 18 cookies, and these are, um, sorry, and these are $3.99, and I've seen these hauled a bunch of times on different, I didn't get the actual cookie butter because I did not know if I liked cookie butter because I'd never had it before, but these are super delicious, and my boyfriend loves them as well, so we are, like I said, already got into those, and they're really, really good. I also got this Everything But the Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion. I've heard a lot about this um, on Instagram and YouTube, and I just could not wait to try it, and this is $1.99. Okay, I think I saw... Tina and Danny from um, Philip Sandbam haul these dried fruit coconut strips lightly, lightly sweetened from Trader Joe's. And these are $1.99. And I have not tried them yet, but you get six ounces and they look absolutely delicious. And I love coconut. And I know if I don't like them, I'm going on a beach trip in one week. And I know two, at least two of the girls like coconut. So I'm sure they would like these. So I can bring them there if I'm not a huge fan because I'm like... On the fence about coconut i like some coconut stuff but not all so there's that and i also got this soft and juicy mango kira from 50 shades of mom i know i keep talking about her but <laughs> she gets these and she likes them as well and they were also a dollar 99 for six ounces so i thought those prices were pretty reason reasonable for those two things i got some frozen things i did get these french green beans the one pound eight ounce bag and they were only a dollar 99 as well and then everyone that goes to Trader Joe's gets these Mandarin Orange Chickens. It is, let me get the price, $4.99 for that. And then I did get a thing of chicken fried rice and vegetable fried rice. I'm super excited about that. These were each, um, let's see, the vegetable fried rice was $2.29 and the chicken fried rice was $2.99. So pretty good deal for those. Then these were $0.49 cents and I just thought they were interesting. This organic apple berry fruit wrap. I thought those were pretty cool, so I picked those up. I saw these at the counter and thought they looked delicious. They're the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. It says creamy peanut butter covered in dark chocolate, so I got those. And then this is one of the things that Kira told me to get. So this is the blueberry and acai facial scrub. She said that she tried it for the first time last time she went to Trader Joe's and said it was absolutely amazing. So I went ahead and picked this up. It was the most expensive thing I got. It was $5.99, but I've been looking for a good facial scrub. So I went ahead and picked this up. All right, guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is actually going to be a two-week meal plan because I probably won't post anything next week. So this, for breakfast the whole week, I'm just going to have either one of those parfaits that you saw me buy the stuff for or just a smoothie like we normally have. And um, that's going to be every day this week. So I just put an arrow so I didn't have to write it a million times. So this is for Monday. So on Monday, I'm going to have that um, guilt-free mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. We're going to have for dinner mini tacos with refried beans and rice. I really want to try a bunch of Trader Joe's stuff this week because I am going to my dad's house this weekend and he has a Trader Joe's near him so if I like any of it I can go um when I'm up there and get some more stuff because we don't have a Trader Joe's but like an hour and a half away so anyways I'm gonna we're gonna have the mini tacos with refried beans and rice 
for lunch on Tuesday, I'm going to have tuna salad and fruit. And we're going to have one of the crock pot meals. If you missed my crock pot video, I will link it in the cards above. And um, definitely check that out. I made four different, or three different, um, freezing meals. And this is one of them. So we've actually already had it once and it's really good. So we have that one. Lunch, again, I'm going to have tuna salad and fruit. And then for dinner, we'll have leftovers of this. Or if there aren't any, or we don't feel like having that, we'll just do breakfast for dinner. Thursday for lunch, I'm going to have the guilt-free mac and cheese, and apparently I forgot to do dinner on both of those days, but one day we'll have the Trader Joe's um, chicken fried rice, and this day we'll probably have breakfast for dinner because I really do want to use those um, hash browns that I got from Trader Joe's to see if I like them or not to purchase them on Saturday because on Saturday we are going to my dad's house for Father's Day. Um, Father's Day is actually on Sunday, but I work on Sunday, so we're going to go on Friday, and we're just going to grill out by the pool and stuff like that, so that's what we'll be doing there, and then we'll probably come home with leftovers, so we'll have those for lunch and dinner. We'll either have leftovers again or breakfast for dinner, um, depending on what we have on this day. I don't know how I forgot those two. Anyways, all right, guys, so this is the meal plan for the week oh. of the 18th through the 24th. Um... I went a little sticker crazy this time because I was super excited to be able to use these. As you guys may or may not know, I am picking up my friend Amber, Anchor Amber here on YouTube on the 18th on Monday at the airport. And we are actually going on Tuesday to um, Gulf Shores, Alabama to meet up with uh, Lemonade Mom, Vanessa from Lemonade Mom, Kira from Fifty Shades of Mom, and Nicole Burgess. So I have stuff I'm going to leave for my boyfriend while he's here, but... I will be eating in Gulf Shores, Alabama with them. So on Monday, I'm going to be running around a lot on Monday um, just trying to get stuff ready for the trip. And I have to go to Chicken Salad Chick and get some stuff for Kira. So if you guys want to see a vlog of this day, let me know down in the comments below because I'll probably be doing some cleaning, some shopping. So let me, guys, let me know if you guys want to see that and I will do that um, on this day. So for lunch, I'm going to have an adult Lunchable. And for dinner, we'll probably either eat out or make one of those frozen pizzas because... We have to pick her up at 8, so um, we're going to have to do something quick. And then I pick her up that night. We're leaving really, really early on Tuesday to go meet them in Gulf Shores, so we're going to need something quick and on the go. So I put this here because we probably will go to Starbucks that morning and get coffee because we're leaving at like 6 a.m., which is crazy. Um, and then lunch and dinner for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, Matt will have soup. I'm going to make him a soup and a freezy meal if he wants to do that. So we'll have that on Tuesday and Wednesday. And for dinner on Wednesday, if we're back in time, I'll probably eat out with Amber um, on Wednesday. And I put all these stickers because I'm super excited. Can you tell? Anyways, then on Thursday, um, Amber will still be here. So for breakfast, we might either do parfaits or pancakes depending on how late we get back on Wednesday. Um, and how tired we are the next day because I think we're going to go to Atlanta. If you guys don't know, I live about 30 minutes south of Atlanta. So I think we're going to go up to Atlanta maybe and walk around. So if we do, we'll have lunch in Atlanta. If not, I'll either cook something here or we can go out and grab lunch for Thursday. And then for dinner on Thursday night, if we're back from Atlanta in time, we're going to have her famous chicken bowls. I've been wanting to make these, but I figured what better time to make them than when she's actually here. So we'll do that on Thursday night. And then she leaves bright and early on Friday morning. Um, so I'm going to take her to the airport. And then I actually have to work Friday. So it's going to be a crazy day. We're going to be so tired. But um, I'm going to just do something on the go breakfast. We might grab Starbucks again. I don't know. just depends on what time we have to leave. For lunch, I'll just bring an adult lunch bowl with me and eat that at work. And then dinner, I'm going to be so, so tired. So we'll either eat out or we'll have one of those pizzas that I got from Publix. The weekend is going to be pretty chill. We're just going to have parfaits or smoothies for breakfast. Thursday, I mean Saturday, I think we're going to grill out turkey burgers. And then Friday, or and then for dinner, we'll have leftovers from that. Sunday, we'll have leftovers or adult, adult lunch bowls for dinner. And then for, or for lunch. And then for dinner, we're going to have that Trader Joe's made on orange chicken and the vegetable fried rice. So that is everything for the two weeks. Again, it is the 11th through the 17th, which runs through Father's Day. And then the 18th through the 24th that runs through my vacation. I wanted to go ahead and plan this out so that I wouldn't be worried about it come next Sunday because I'm going to have to be getting ready for Amber to get here on Monday. So if you guys are really excited to see the upcoming videos I have, I actually have a lot of videos planned um, to go out pretty soon while we're gone. I have vlogs and get ready with me. So if you guys like that type of thing, definitely give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe below. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.